Hi everyone, welcome again back to this channel. So today I'm going to be making this particular baby frog. <laughs> so the first thing to do is to fold your fabric into two, then into four. And after that, you are going to input the shoulder measurements. The shoulder measurement of my client is nine. So I divide it by four by sorry by two, that's four point five. So you are going to input 4.5 inches, mark 4.5 inches, mark 4.5 inches, mark 4.5 inches also. Then you trace the line down. So you come back by half inch. Then you create a slant. Then after creating a slant, you come down by 4.5 inches also. Then you create a curve for the shoulder. You measure two inches to this side. You measure two inches to the other side. Then you create a curve. That's for the back pattern. Then the same fabric you'll be doing the um, front pattern you are going to come in by 1.5 inches then create a slant so that the front is a little bit deeper than the back pattern so you curve it then you input your bust measurements the bust measurement of my client is um, 22 so that is five and a half five and a half inches you measure five and a half inches that's divided by four then you add an inch allowance then after that you are going to input the let go we have to we are going to break it at two points the first point is at 12 inches so you measure 12 inches then you join the line so after joining the line then this is a shape the lower the upper part of the dress is a shape so that means you are going to be coming from that point where you marked one inch then you create a slant okay so after that you go to the neckline you go in by two inches you come down by 2.5 inches Then for the back pattern, you come in. Okay, they first curve it. Then for the back pattern, the neckline by 1.5 inches, then you mark. So you're going to cut out. You cut the back pattern first, then you separate the fabric. Then you cut out the long, the back pattern. Then the front pattern also. And for the back pattern, you're going to split it so that it will be easy for your baby to put on. You come down by four inches, three inches, depending on how you want it. And then this is what you have. This is the back pattern. Then this is the front pattern. That's the back pattern. You can see the back. And this is the front pattern. Yes. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the lower part 9 inches long. The 32 times 2, that's 64 inches wide. Please don't mind, the camera was able to capture the whole fabric. So we have 32 inches times 2, that's 64, because I folded the fabric into two. So you are going to notch so that it will be easy for you to gather the fabric around the base of the dress. So the next thing to do is to cut facing for the front and back pattern. I'm not using lining so I'm going to be using the fabric to turn it in. So you are going to sew around. Okay. So that's the facing. 
for the front pattern you're going to sew the neckline first so you are going to join the front pattern and the back pattern at the shoulder point so you're going to join you can see this is the back pattern i'm putting on the front pattern so you're going to open open it up and stitch so you stitch round for the first shoulder point then you do the same for the second shoulder point too So you are going to be sewing at the ham all side. You are going to be sewing that. Then this is what you have after sewing round. So the next thing to do is to join by the sides. You are going to join by the sides. But the thing is you are going to join only one side. You will be joining only one side. You can decide to join at the left or the right. Depending on how you want it. So this is what I have after joining by the side. So the next thing to do is to gather the fabric for the lower part. You gather the fabric for the lower part, you'll be running a gathered line, a gathered stitch. So after that, you are going to attach that part to the dress that you've made, the gathered part. So this is what you are going to have. Then you are going to join by the sides. You join by the sides. Then after that, you are going to fix the button. After fixing the button, and voila, this is what you have. Our dress is ready. So you are going to iron 